I resign from the formal rules from the Congress party in the state as well as in the ASSC. And there is a, uh, and the reasons are self evident, like whatever I have written is in the letter and it is fairly self explanatory. And whatever I said, like end of the day, it's a lot of things that has been happening for a while, a lot of things have been brewing. But whatever happened in the last 24 hours, I do feel like personally I was very hurt and I was very shocked and appalled by the reaction of certain corners from within the party. Yesterday, early morning, I made a tweet. Yes, I made a tweet. I don't know if you had seen it. Um, I made it in a very innocuous manner. In the tweet itself, I had very clearly written something. And that is that end of the day, as far as I'm concerned with the BJP, the, I have a lot of strong political uh, differences. But at the same time, this is an opinion which I firmly believe that 99% of this country will have. And that is um, when it comes to matters of our core national importance and interest, including our sovereignty, we shouldn't let partisan politics come over it. And I have written that in a very mild manner. And I also said in uh, and I also said that end of the day, like I had certain concerns of where this documentary come for come from, because end of the day, let's say the people behind this documentary are the same people who are actually behind the Iraq war. Also, they were the masterminds behind the Iraq war, which actually resulted in the murder and uh, unfortunate uh, killing of millions of people. And when those kind of people are doing something and bringing it to the country, obviously, we should be cautious about it. And that is what I said. And I don't I will still stand by it. And I don't think I have said anything that is wrong. But then, let's say the reaction that came from them suddenly, like just because of something, I don't think I have said anything which is actually against the basic ethos of the party, the basic principles of the party, the basic problems of the party, uh, the basic policies of the party. I had said something which I believe that 99% of the country will actually believe in, the, and that is that partisan politics shouldn't come or above national interest and issues relating to our sovereignty and yet some people very very riled and they wanted me to retract the statement give a counter statement or delete it etc which i refuse because end of the day i personally felt that i am doing something which is based on my own beliefs my own firm beliefs and my convictions and i took I stuck to that. But then what happened in the last 15 to 18 hours was absolutely disappointing and it was disgraceful for a party like this to stoop to this kind of pathetic levels because end of the day I'm not going to delete a single of these tweets or especially my Facebook wall. You are all free to go there and check it out where end of the day in that entire Facebook wall from uh, let's say 8 p.m. onwards you have all kind of insults, threats and abuses. I know exactly where it is coming from. Then my WhatsApp groups, my text messages, everything is filled by these kind of hateful messages, threats, abuses. Just because I said something which 99% of this population will actually agree with, then the something is definitely wrong and then like I like I am a professional I have been working in digital and cyber and technology world for a while like I personally think that I'm very well qualified in what I'm doing I've been doing what I am doing and I think I have a good professional life and then I feel that at this moment continuing in this toxic environment is not really worth my time and so I'll just stick to what I think I would like to do doing and that is my professional uh, activities and I'm just continuing with that and I resigned from the party. The, the media wing in uh, in Kerala for the Congress party for the longest time. You have uh, uh, exactly the knowledge of where these messages came from, these hate messages, these threats that you spoke of, who was texting, who was organizing this campaign against you. Now, you know exactly what I'm saying. So do you believe that the party organized, was the, was the blowback organized? Uh, do you think uh, people within your own party uh, wanted you uh, to come under pressure? See, from 2019, when I was working in the state for the Kerala elections, then 2021 in the assembly elections, etc., etc., also there were very targeted cyber attacks that had come. And I know exactly where it came from. It came from certain sections of the party. I had complained to the party leadership in the state and center regarding that also, but nothing happened. But yeah, that is what it is. End of the day, like I'm not very, uh, like I'm not having any hard feelings regarding that. But then again, yesterday it happened, and I don't think I had done anything wrong. And I did. Thing that I stood for the greater interest of the country and in a scenario like that end of the day if this is the kind of reaction to somebody like me then I think that I don't think I should waste my time in such a to toxic environment I have better things to do in my life. Small question before my colleague uh, Priyanka comes in you mentioned there that you know exactly where it's coming from where is it coming from? 
I, I, I get a sense that you're, you're, you're holding yourself back. I don't why want don't to you, give an in. Why don't you tell us? No, no, no. Like, end of the day, I don't want to have any personal attacks over anybody at this moment because these are all people I have worked with who my, my father still works with and I don't want to create any grudges at this moment. But like I said, like, I know where it came from and at this moment even they know that I know. And that is what matters and I don't want to take it further than that. Okay, respect that. Priyanka. You know, uh, you know, Anil, uh, to take it further from what you have just uh, mentioned, uh, because it cannot be denied that this rising level of intolerance and the sycophancy that you have mentioned, we ourselves, in fact, have seen these certain examples of various uh, senior leaders coming out and making these kind of statements, uh, comparing Rahul Gandhi to God and making those kind of statements as well. Uh, so would you also now point out that this is a, a rising level of culture in the political party of the Congress party, where in fact it is also being incubated by the Gandhi family itself, isn't it? See, I don't want to blame the senior leadership, etc. And I actually have a lot of high regards for Mr. Gandhi and whatever he is trying to do by trying to unite this country by walking from Kashmir to Kanyagumari to Kashmir. I think it is a great cause he is trying to attempt. But sadly, I feel with the bunch of people who are surrounding him and the so-called people who claim to be his supporters, I think that they stand for everything he doesn't. Like, end of the day, he is trying to spread a message of love while his messengers are all people who are filled with heat and venom and uh, like everything that is exactly opposite to whatever he stands for. And with these kind of people, I don't think this is reaching anywhere. Yeah. Uh, Anil, you know, going back to your original tweet, and I'm going to read out uh, your original tweet for, for the benefit of all our viewers, uh, the tweet over which you got a blowback and you were attacked by, by perhaps people within your own party or, or a campaign that was launched by a party. The tweet said that despite large differences with the BJP, I think those in India placing views of the BBC, a British state-sponsored channel with a long history of prejudices and of Jack Straw, the brain behind the Iraq war over Indian institutions is setting a dangerous precedence, will undermine our sovereignty. I wanted to ask you a question. You now, there are many people within the Congress party who are backing this documentary openly, sort of using this documentary as a tool to target the government. Well, it's a democracy, they can do that. But the, but the fact that they're using this when Indian institutions, the judiciary, uh, investigative agencies, the courts, the law has been tried. They've, they've gone through this case in great detail. Now, what is your personal view on your party using this issue to target the Prime Minister specifically? See, whatever I have said is again self-explanatory. Like end of the day, like I said, like I do think that we are, I do, I'm very happy with the fact that we are the world's oldest democracy, one of the world's largest democracies, the world's largest democracy. And in a democracy without freedom of speech and expression will not reach anywhere. So I am a person who is not for any kind of bans, whether it is a documentary, whether it is a film, whether it is a book, whether it is a show. I think that unless it is actually, let's say, breaking some of the core ethos of our constitution or our criminal penal loads, uh, they should be allowed to be screened or people should watch whatever they want to watch. So this is not the question here. The question here, like in my tweet, things are very clear. Like I said, like be cautious about where things are coming from because these are the same kind of people who are responsible for, let's say, the Iraq war. This is a certain outlet which actually has been creating a lot of issues in the country for a long time. And end of the day, personally, I, I strongly believe that, let's say, like our institutions, I don't think all our institutions are completely, let's say, neutral, nor do I think that nor all our institutions are completely perfect also. They have flaws. But whatever the flaws are, end of the day, I don't want a scenario where any foreign agency, any foreign institution, any foreign entity actually comes here and gain precedence over it and dilute our institutions. Because I think that that is a trajectory will will destroy this long-term sovereignty of the country and that is not something I can agree with. And that is what I have briefed in a tweet of mine and I think what I said is the right thing based on my convictions and I stick to that.